All right, Shalom. First and foremost, we're gonna give our honor, our praise, our glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rakakodash. All right, Yahweh is the heavenly Father who the worldly calls God. Yahweh Shah, the only begotten Son, who the worldly calls Jesus Christ. All right, we want to give a double honor to the apostles, elders, and great millstone of the will. Peace, blessings, and grace and safety goes out to all the Akim around the world, preaching and teaching his word and truth and his sincerity. Uh, we the uh, Akim from Men Battle, South Carolina camp. Um, coming with a quick lesson, real quick, in transit. We on the um, you know, way of the road to holler at the other Akim. So, uh, just want to go on a hot topic how, uh, wow, so slow, yeah. how Israel has. Uh, Yeah, we're just gonna go into how Israel has uh, attacked uh, Iran, man. They sent shots back at Iran, and this is the uh, this is what's prophesied in the scripture, man. This is that World War Three that brothers have been prophesying about. This is that World War Three that's written about in the scriptures. Yep. So we just um, gonna bring out a real uh, quick precepts on that, and uh, you know, just wrap it up. This is uh, Joel chapter three. And now I'll start straight to point verse nine. It says, proclaim ye this among the Gentiles, prepare war, wake up the mighty men, let all the men of war draw near, let them come up. And that's what you have going on uh, around these times, man. All right, that's that's what is going on. These leaders of these nations are in a mood, in a spirit to uh, come up and fight against each other. Yep. All right, yep. uh, I'm gonna grab something real quick. You gotta say something. Okay, yeah, yeah, hey, um, and uh, hey, after you uh, could you give me uh, Jeremiah 50? Okay. Um, because you know this uh, when you really look into it, like me before I got into the truth, I, I ain't gonna lie, I wasn't never really in the news and stuff like that. I wasn't watching the news or like war talk and stuff like that. But now that we're watching it in prophecy, mm -hmm. it makes it so that much interesting, and we're watching it unfold, man. And um, when the brother get that Jeremiah 50, what we're seeing is that once. The once super mega power of the earth, aka Babylon the Great, aka America, now everybody, even like smaller countries like Iran, is like, hey man, yeah. you know what I'm saying? We gonna we handling something over here. We know y'all allies, and we know you're gonna step in, but we don't give a fuck because we got we got our big big homies too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's uh, uh uh the hammer of the whole earth been broken. 23, I think. Uh, yeah, kind. This is uh, Jeremiah 50 and verse. 23. Yep. How is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken? Yep. How is Babylon become a desolation among the nations? And that's gonna be when every when when the Lord comes back and destroys and levels this place, man. Everybody's gonna be like, "Damn, you was once the the superpower yep. of the whole earth. You was big bag America. Nobody messed with America, yeah, man. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, it's gonna look like y'all was the one of the least nations, man. Mm. Yep, yep, that's heavy, man, mm -hmm. because it's hard. And if you're not in the spirit, if you're not in this faith, you're not believing in your how about Shimei al Shai, you really don't think Babylon the Great can be touched with because exactly. this is a, a great place, man. Yeah. So to speak. Yep. A great nation, so called greatest army and all that. Mm -hmm. And you just can't imagine another country coming into your city and taking over, let, you know? But that's what's going to happen, man. Yeah. Especially, uh, what it says that uh, virgin daughter of Babylon. Yep, yep. Hey, America mm -hmm. ain't never been it touched does. like that, yep. man. Yep. Uh, you go to these other countries. Uh, mm -hmm. One of the brothers said a while back, uh, uh, Chacon, like what's uh, the, the brother from up top? I think he's staying in Connecticut. Ayash. Okay, okay. Ayash Chacon. Oh yeah, yeah, Ayash. yeah. Anyway, he uh, he brought out a point. Um, I think we was doing a sit down. I was listening to him. Um, that basically these other countries. They know war and they know oh, yeah. like they got they got remnants of war. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. they can look like, oh, this shit got blown up, da, da, yeah. da, da, this mm -hmm. They still yep. suffering yep. from the effects of war. Yep. America don't know nothing like that, yep. man. Yep. You know gang wars, yeah, but you know, yeah, that's nigga, it. nigga got hit with a switch. Yeah, right there. My cousin, see, I see, I see, see the balloons. See, see, yeah. <laughs> see the balloons yeah. over there? You see the bullet holes in, in, the, in the brick wall? You yeah, see like yeah, that's all they got, little minute all. shit. Yeah, but these kind of like that's beautiful. Like you brought that up. That's what the brother said because these countries got real experiences with destruction. Yep, Babylon the Great never, never has seen that. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go up a verse real quick. Get ties into also Jeremiah 50 and 22. It says, "The sound <laughs> of battle is in the land yep. and of great destruction." Mm -hmm. See, that's that's what's coming, man. See, right now, those battles 
that destruction is, is happening in the eastern or uh, over there in the east. Mm -hmm. Israel getting hit up, Iran getting hit up. Mm -hmm. That destruction going on, but that, that destruction is going to start happening here in uh, Babylon the Great once these allies get involved in this war. That's why it's so important. That's why brothers harking on it so much about these uh, this Israel and Iran news, man. Mm -hmm. But yeah, Israel and what, strike back? And this is going to keep going and going and going. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, uh, if you ain't got nothing, bro, let's uh, grab that CQ38. Okay. This is one of my favorite uh, scriptures I always bring out because, uh, like I said, I've never been too big in the news, but, you know, uh, certain, certain when, when we get in this faith and we get our footing on us and we start to learn ourselves and the gifts that the Lord gave us, you know, certain things get you excited more than others. You know what I'm saying? Like certain things you, you just cleave to. You know what I'm saying? Like some brothers uh, uh, are good with, uh, you know, Proverbs and the Psalms and other brothers good with history. You know what I'm saying? We all got a little niche in the truth and one of mine's I would like to think is uh, uh, Iran. Watching Iran, Persia and, and these these uh, these countries coming together to fight against America, man. Like, every time something happens I get excited, man. I always think about um, that Ezekiel 38. <clears throat> you can start at the top, bro. Okay, I was about to say I was starting at the top. <laughs> Ezekiel 38 and 1 mm -hmm. and the word of Yahweh came unto me saying, Son of man, set thy face against God, the land of Magog. That's right. Prophesying is, is talking about uh, Russia, man. Yep. The, the, the land mass known as Russia. Yep, God. The chief prince of Meshach and Tubal and prophesied against them, mm -hmm. against him, and say, thus said Yahweh power, behold, I am against thee, O God, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, mm -hmm. and I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws, thy jaws, and I will bring thee forth and all thy armies, horse, horses and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armor. See, that's warfare. That's war, war talk. Yeah. Okay. So this prophecy goes into and it breaks down Russia being the, the, the spearhead or being the, the the focal point of World War III. Yeah. Because they got they got the uh, the best technology, the best missiles. Yeah. All right, they you know Russia's is raw. Yeah. You know, you put a, a Russian in front of a regular E. Yeah. He gonna dog his ass. Yeah. yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. yeah, man. It says even a great company with bulkers and shields, all of them handling swords. See, there you go. And the modern day sword is what the gun. And you can yeah. tie in missile with. Yeah. You can tie in bombs with. Yeah. You can tie in all that and yeah. all, all the other stuff that. They don't. They don't show us. Yeah. They got you know microwave guns, yeah. lasers, and all Party types. Drones. Mm -hmm. yep. 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 It says Persia, Ethiopia, Iran. See, if, if a lot of people don't know, and, and that's how the Lord is so cold. Mm -hmm. He 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 got certain areas that still got the same name. Mm -hmm. Libya still got the same name. Yep. Ethiopia is still called Ethiopia. Yep. But Persia, it, 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 it was before Iran. Yeah. And they don't call it Persia no more. They switched it. Yeah. But it's still it's talking about Iran. Persia, Ethiopia, and Libya, with them, all of them with shield and helmet. Yep. Gomer and all his bands, the house of Togam Togamar, to like a Togamar mm -hmm. of the North Quarters, and all his bands and many people with thee. So that's that's Turkey. Yep. That's a that's a uh, what is it? Baghdad. That's a, uh, Iraq. That's all that area, man. You know what I'm saying? Coming together, and they're going to come together. And like the scriptures say, they shall hate the whore and burn her with fire. Man. Yep, right. And even their last ally, their last ally, like the scripture says, is going to be uh, Great Britain. Mm -hmm. Because Great Britain is the mother of, of yep. And then it says, your mother, uh, their mother's sore, sore confounded. Yep. So, that, that, it's, it's, hey, Babylon done, man. Uh, since I'm kind of right here, I grab that real quick. It's Jeremiah 50, and I start at verse... 11 because you were glad because you rejoiced or you destroyed of my heritage because you are grown fat as the heifer at grass and below as bulls your mother shall be sore confounded yeah, oh. that she bear you <laughs> she that bear you shall be ashamed there you go and you you ask a, a christian they don't know level they don't know the mother of you know babylon the great they don't even know what babylon the great is yeah. and then you could tell this that because because uh, like Elder Pastor Tar always say, man, you got to know the history to know the mystery, man. Yeah. You know, uh, when they was fighting the British, why you think they was fighting the British for independence? Yeah. They still ain't got no independence, man. Why you think the, the, uh, 
the uh, the, the flags are similar. Yeah. And uh, see, Britain, uh, Britain on Australia too. Oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah and they, they flag look just like a Br yeah. British flag. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They on Jamaica. J the British on a lot of a lot of shit. Yeah. Yep. It says the hindermost of the nation shall be a wilderness, a dry land, and a desert. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's and that's gonna all come from what these uh this third world war that's coming. Mm -hmm. And the brothers just uh had me read Ezekiel how these allies are gonna get involved. Mm -hmm. All right. And who is uh Persia's ally? Russia. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And who is Babylon the Great uh, ally? Uh, who is Israel ally? Babylon the Great. Yep. No, so that's why brothers like get excited when we see these things and read about these things and hear these things because we're seeing Bible, uh, Bible prophecy in real time. Mm -hmm. Yep. <clears throat> this is uh, Proverbs 21 and 1. The king's heart is in the hands of the Lord. Mm -hmm. As the rivers of water, he turneth it with us soever he will. So these kings are, uh, are doing what the Heavenly Father wants them to do. And that's uh, uh, get ready for war as we was reading in Joel the third chapter right. it's uh the, the Lord is making the what uh, let all the men of war draw near let them come up the heavenly father is causing them to draw it said verse 10 in Joel 3 beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears let the weak say I am strong and that's why you got these nations coming up against very certain nations like this mm -hmm. at first those uh those Iranians, they was kind of scared to go up against the Israelis, man. They wouldn't mm -hmm. bust a move like that. Mm -hmm. Even though they have been at war with each other for decades and decades, ever since they, uh, 1948, you know, they've been at war. But they're now they're ready to go all out. Mm -hmm. The weak is saying that they're strong. Even smaller countries are coming up against, what, America? Mm -hmm. And joining allies with uh, Russia, man. Yep. With Gog and Magog. Mm -hmm. Uh, verse verse 11 Assemble yourselves and come all ye heathen And gather yourselves together around about thither Cause thy mighty ones to come down O Yahweh Verse 12 Let the heathen be wakened And come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat For there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about Alright and this is something that we constantly always uh, Bring out these scriptures When we are uh, referring to and going into World War 3 Because Hey, we we seeing it playing out right now, you know. So uh, that's just a beautiful thing that we see and want to harp on that real quick. Brothers doing uh, diving deep and going to, into lessons. So we just wanted to add our two cent and constantly be aware and watching other signs of the times, man. That's a like the brother said before the faith. We wasn't in into things like this. You uh, you ain't care. Say if you walking past the store and you see it on even on news, you ain't really gonna be. Mm -hmm. Engage and really care what's going on. You just look at it as news. But now you see that shit, you're going you gonna to read it. Mm -hmm. It's really, uh, uh, you're going to be into it. And then link it up with scripture. Yeah, yeah, link it up with Bible prophecy. Mm -hmm. So, you know, uh, yeah, bro. Yeah, so call Halal Yahweh, how about shout for the Spirit of the Lord for, to have us in tune um, with these Bible prophecies, man. So, with that, we're going to close it out with that. So, give our honor, our praise, our glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah, Bashem, Rakakwadash. All right, Shalom.